Hi everyone, so I was going to do a demonstration of how to adjust your tops. Um, so I just got this one in the mail yesterday. As you can see, it's pretty bent, um, angled, and it does not lay flat on my glasses at all. Uh, there's a big gap there, as you can see. And especially because when I wear these, they bow out just a little, and then that makes the top raise even more. So what I'm going to need to do is flatten it. And that's pretty easy to do if you heat it up. Lots of people have different methods that they prefer. Some people use um, boiling water. Some put water in the microwave with the top and then dip it in. Um, some people hold it over a pot of boiling water. So you can do over water, you can do in water. I love good old hair dryer. Um, to me, that's the easiest. So that's what I'm gonna use. I set it on the highest heat setting and I'm not really worried about it. I'm gonna focus my um, attention to the bridge here because this is where we're really going to want to bend it um, and yeah that's what we're going to do so here we go So then I, I pinch both sides here and I just slowly kind of mush it up. You don't want to start here and just bend because you might you might snap them that way. I don't know that you would, but I just kind of gently massage it right at the nose, kind of grip both sides right next to where the um, this part begins. Just kind of push it towards me. You could do it this way if you wanted to and push it away from you. gently do that all right well it looks like I flattened it out pretty well there I'm gonna I'm gonna do the ends here now a little bit a little bit more so I'm gonna focus it on the end now on the edge Be a little warm to the touch I mean it's not gonna be like oh hot can't touch but you'll feel it I mean it'll be a little bit warm in your fingertips but but you can tell it's a little more pliable that's what you'll want to be feeling for is to just tell that it doesn't it, it really doesn't feel like it's going to snap um, and that's the most important thing that you're you're looking for so let's see it still feels a little bit we're getting better we're definitely getting better and do it some more, which again, this can take a, a multi-step multi process. You'd rather do it slowly than do it too quickly and obviously like break them, so. perhaps wanting to use something like water just because it'll give it an overall pliable feeling. If you dip the whole thing, then the whole thing will become pliable in one fell swoop. Whereas, you know, me, I'm trying to do it bit by bit. Um, but, you know, patience is a virtue, whichever way works for you. I can definitely see I'm just kind of slowly just bending it a little. Um, I don't feel like I'm going to break it especially because this is a thick top. I don't think the thin tops really need to be adjusted. They they are so thin that, that they, they kind of contort to whatever they're up against because of the nature of their thinness. But these feel solid enough that I feel pretty good about them. They're definitely getting flatter. So 
You can see it's much flatter now. Actually weighs pretty good. I'll show you the progress. So see how well that weighs, how it's smooth right up against it. I think I might, I might do it just a little bit more. So let's try one more round. Like I said, gentle, gentle, and keep your fingers close together at all times. Just kind of mush them together as you go up, mush them back together. I mean, like, a, don't start at the ends and bend, don't start here and bend. Just kind of keep your fingers and use the resistance of your fingers to kind of push towards you, or you can do it this way and push away from you. Sucker seems a whole lot more flat now. I would venture to say it is now perfect. There's very little gap. I mean, the only better it could get is if there are more magnets, which of course is not currently an option. So looks pretty good. Looks pretty flush on the glasses themselves. So you can see no gap. When I open them, or like pull the edges out so how it'll be on my face, you can see there's still no gap, which is really nice. So I actually have two pair. I'm wearing the other pair. So let's see what they look like. I've got to put one on though because I'm so blind. <laughs> Can't see what I'm doing. So let's try on my blue tortoise pair. It's pretty darn good, guys pretty flat. Now, if you wanted to ever adjust your actual glasses because they're not fitting you for whatever reason, I'm not doing that right now because mine actually are pretty good. Don't want to mess with anything, right? Um, one thing you're going to want to do, I actually could use a little, but I don't think I want to do that. Um, one thing you want to do to start with is set them down and just open them like this so that, you know, it's open and then lay them flat on a surface and you want it you want it to not do what it's doing which is this let's see if we can so you want it to excuse the mess you want it to not do that you want these two sides to be equal so what i could do is i could twist right here let me put the camera back up now i could twist at the bridge here and i would heat up the bridge now what i do strongly recommend if you've got prescription glasses is um, when you're using the heat here put something over your lenses to just kind of protect them I usually wrap a washcloth around that side and then a washcloth around this side and then leave a small gap in between and then I heat this I only read that because it could damage the coatings that are on our lenses or something to that effect um, so I put the washcloths around them put the hairdryer focus right on the bridge and then I slowly take it like this and then I just go this hand this way and this hand this way so they go in opposite directions and that will twist how much this balances it's slightly I mean and I'm talking slight it slightly twists the center here and actually you know what I'll, I'll go ahead and do it so I can show you I gotta get some washcloths or towels out So that you can see. All right, so I didn't have any washcloths in this bathroom, but I have towels. So I'm going to wrap the one side like so, and I'm going to wrap this side 
like so. I'm gonna set them down. So you can see pretty much all that's peeking through is the bridge here. I'm gonna take the hair dryer. to do things with two hands and only one of me. All right. So now, like I said, I'm going to take one side and push it towards me and one side and push it away from me. So I'm doing it gently, very gently. And in the, in the process, I can set it down and see. Okay, see, it's already better. I'm going to do it just a teeniest, tiniest bit more. Again, I'm gripping the bottoms. Turning this one towards me, this one away from me. All right, now look at them. Where they were tipping before, now that side lays flat at the same time this side lays flat. So both sides are resting on the countertop at the same time. Now if you wanted to adjust them in other ways, you'd just do, you know, the arms. If they're, um, if these are hurting your ears, then you want to bend it up this way. So you would put your hair dryer or dip it in water on this side and then just kind of gently right here, work your fingers down till you get here, bend it up towards you. If they're sliding off your face, you can slowly go here and then bend these down. And so there's actually a wire inside there. There's no wire inside these, but there's a wire inside here coated in this plastic um, resin, whatever. Um, and it, it'll be a little pliable so you can fold it down more this way so it'll grip your ears a little bit better um, if the nose feels a little bit too tight and it's not resting properly you can bend these this way so that it opens this up a little bit more again we're talking like a millimeter at a time which is very very slight but it's probably all you're going to need to just do it very gently and slowly um, and you can kind of mish, mush, mish, mash, mush your glasses into whatever shape you need. This is what they're going to do at a professional place. They have professional little heating things, but we all have a hair dryer or hot water at home, especially during a pandemic. It's much easier to do these kinds of things yourself and um, save yourself a trip and possible exposure. All right, guys. Um, happy Wednesday.